In this lesson, we are going to learn about monitoring in Azure. Azure Monitor maximizes the availability and performance of your application by delivering a comprehensive solution for collecting, analyzing, and acting on telemetry from your cloud and on-premises environments. It helps you understand how your applications are performing and proactively identifies issues affecting them and the resources they depend on. You can consider Azure Monitor a single pane of glass that was once handled by multiple separate services. Using the insights and metrics, you can then implement workloads to integrate with popular tooling in the market. This following diagram gives a high-level view of Azure Monitor. At the center of the diagram are the data stores for metrics and logs, which are the two fundamental types of data used by Azure Monitor. On the left are the sources of monitoring data that populate these data stores. And on the right are the different functions that Azure Monitor performs with this collected data such as analysis, alerting, and streaming to external systems. All data collected by Azure Monitor fits into one of two fundamental types, logs and metrics. Logs contain different kinds of data organized into records with different sets of properties for each type. Telemetry such as events and traces are stored as logs in addition to performance data so that it can all be combined for analysis. Metrics are numerical values that describe some aspect of a system at a particular point in time. They are lightweight and capable of supporting near real-time scenarios. Log data collected by Azure Monitor is stored in log analytics which includes a rich query language to quickly retrieve, consolidate, and analyze collected data. You can create and test queries by using the log analytics page in the Azure portal and then either directly analyze the data by using these tools or save queries for use with visualizations or alert rules. Let's look into alerts. Alerts proactively notifies you when important conditions are found in your monitoring data. They allows you to identify and address issues before the users of the system notice them. Please note that the new unified alert experience in Azure Monitor now includes log analytics and application insights. The previous alert experience and alert types are called classic alerts. Alert rule captures the target and criteria for alerting. The alert rule can be in an enabled or disabled state and alerts only fire when enabled. Let's look at alert state. You can set the state of the alert to specify where it is in the resolution process. When the criteria specified in the alert rule is met, an alert is created or fired and it has a status of new. You can change the status when you acknowledge an alert and when you close it. All state changes are stored in the history of the alert. Alert state is different and independent of the monitor condition. Alert state is set by the user. Monitor condition is set by the system. When an alert fires, the alert's monitor condition is set to be fired. When the underlying condition that caused the alert to fire clears, the monitor condition is set to resolved. So the alert state isn't changed until the user changes it. Let's look into Application Insights. Application Insights is a feature of Azure Monitor and is an extensible application performance management service for developers and DevOps professionals. You can use it to monitor live applications as it is designed to help continually improve performance and usability of live applications. Application Insight will automatically detect performance anomalies. It includes powerful analytics tools to help diagnose issues and to understand what users actually do with an application. 
Let's look into an application insight architecture. You install a small instrumentation package in your application and set up an application insight resource in the Microsoft Azure portal. The instrumentation monitor your application and sends telemetry data to the portal. You can instrument not only the web service application, but also any background component and the JavaScript in the web pages themselves. In addition, you can pull in telemetry from the host environment such as performance counters, Azure Diagnostic, or Docker logs. You can also set up web tests that periodically sends synthetic request to your web services. All the telemetry streams are integrated in the Azure portal where you can apply powerful analytic and search tools to the raw data. So what does the Azure Monitor collect? Azure Monitor can collect data from variety of sources. Let's look into each of this one by one. The first one is application monitoring data. This includes data about the performance and functionality of the code you have written, regardless of its platform. The next one is guest operating system monitoring data. This includes data about the operating systems on which your application is running. This could be running in Azure, another cloud or on premises. Third is Azure resource monitoring data. This includes data about the operation of an Azure resource. The fourth one is Azure Subscription Monitoring Data. This includes data about the operation and management of an Azure subscription as well as data about the health and operation of Azure itself. The fifth one is Azure Tenant Monitoring Data. This includes data about the operation of the tenant level Azure services such as Azure Active Directory. Monitoring data in Azure comes from a variety of sources that can be originated into tiers. The highest tiers being your application and any operating systems and the lower tier being components of Azure platform. All data collected by Azure Monitor fits into one of two fundamental types, metrics or logs. Metrics are numerical values that describe some aspect of a system at a particular point in time. They are lightweight and capable of supporting near real-time scenarios. Logs contain different kind of data organized into records with different sets of properties for each type. Telemetry such as events and traces are stored as logs in addition to performance data so that it can all be combined for analysis. Let's look into application map. Application map helps you spot performance bottleneck or failure hotspots across all components of your distributed application. Each node on the map represents an application component or its dependencies and has health KPI and alert status. You can select through from any component to more detailed diagnostic such as application inside events. If your app uses Azure services, you can also select through the Azure diagnostic such as SQL database advice or recommendations. That concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about Azure CDN. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.